two more years, and then uh, two Disney Scouts came to the school. So, and um, they weren't really Disney Scouts, but um, it was about it was like promoting Disney basically. Um, so they invited me to a workshop after I auditioned, and when I went up there, um, I had some offers for representation. So um, we came home and we started working with a one-on-one -on -one instructor and it's been like a momager to me and she's helped me and I've signed with Atlanta Models and Talent and Bohemia Group, which are both based, uh, Atlanta Models and Talents in Atlanta, Georgia and then Bohemia Group is worldwide. But um, so I'll get auditions all through the year. But before um, I had the agents and all, um, but after the audition for um, the workshop, I was looking for auditions on my own and I found one for True Seekers, the music of souls. And we went up there for the audition and all. And we got there, we auditioned, and about three to four weeks later, we got a call and I booked the role of Corey in True Seekers, the music of souls, which is a movie franchise. It should have 10 films filming in the next 12 years. Uh. So um, we'll be working on that one. And then I was um, in The Solomon Bunch, which was a movie directed by Jason Prisk. And um, I've done Trouble with the Curve. That was the Phillip, where Philip Phillips is in. But um, we had a lot of fun on that set. I spoke to Clint Eastwood for a while and had some one-on-one -on -one time with him. So we became really good friends and all. But um, we had a lot of fun on that set and then um, we spent a lot of time with Tyler Perry for Medea's Witness Protection Program. We were filming up there for about two to three weeks and it was really cool because I'd have my own set tutor and all. So um, after that, I just decided I wanted to do acting for like real and then that's when I got the agent and manager. So we've been doing auditions like twice a week. Well, that's cool. And It wasn't really an extra role, but um, it was like a few steps up from that. But um, we spent about eight to ten hours filming the movie, and um, uh, there were no speaking lines, but they got like good shots of my face and all, and all in there. And you're like, um, it, you were talking, but you weren't really talking. It was like silent talking, mouthing words, mm -hmm. and all. And then um, after that. I had some extra time to spend with um, Mr. Clint Eastwood, so that was really fun. And um, we wrapped um, filming that at about two o'clock at night. Wow. Got home. He was over to the side a little bit. There was another person working with the camera, and all. But um, then um, I went over there to talk to him, and he was actually doing the scene right then, where he was doing one of those scenes where he wasn't really talking and all but he was doing his scene and all. So I was talking to him, so there might be shots of that in the movie. But um, um, before I started acting, my dad told me there's like three people I want you to meet. And he says, Clint Eastwood, John Travolta, and then I can't remember the other one, but he told me those two names. And um, I was really excited that I had the chance to work with Clint Eastwood because um, when I got to speak to him, my dad told me, now I want you to go up there and I want you to tell him that you're my daddy's hero. So I went up there and spoke to him and I introduced myself by saying, um, hi, my name's Justin Scott. And he goes, hi, I'm Clint Eastwood. And then I go, um, did you know you're my daddy's hero? And he was actually there with another actor that I didn't know was an actor. I thought it was one of his buddies. But they were both two of the actors in the film and I was speaking with um, two of the leads in the film right there and I had no clue. But also, I spoke to them for a few minutes, about five minutes or so, mm -hmm. with them there. But cool. it's really cool. Now, I want to walk the red carpet in LA or New York. I want to be in New York or LA. It's where I want to go. Um, I really like to do like mystery films and all. I mean, it's really fun to be on sets because they're so nice to you and everything is just well planned and all. And like when there's a turnaround, it's no big deal. They'll, they'll just like cut it for then and then send you back for a little while and you can sit on the couches and all they prepare for you. 
and um, you just wait and then they'll call you back and it'll all be ready and it's just really cool. Awesome. Working on, I worked on five sets and um, working on all of those five sets, all the directors are so different and you just learn so much from them. And after working with all the directors and writers, I decided that I wanted to try writing too. So I've actually written a few movies and all by myself that are um, like full length movies. And we're working right now with um, getting them set up to be filmed and put up. A recent one I was in was Hide and Seek, which was a 48 hour film festival. And we went up there and we did the premiere for all of that and all. And my sister with me right here, she was actually in the movie with me. So um, we were playing brother and sister in that one. And it was a really cool. My dream is to be in the Hunger Games right now. But um, being in the Hunger Games right now, it's filming in Atlanta. So that was really cool to learn and all. And um, I want to be in a film with Jennifer Lawrence. It's one of my favorite actors. I just like to go to the auditions. They're fun. I just take them as fun. I meet a lot of friends there and just have fun with the auditions and all.